Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer playthrough. Today, we're going to be playing the game Wild Descent. This is our second video in playthrough time, and we're going to be doing the cooperative variant of the game. In this game, you play two to four players, just like in the, um, the competitive mm -hmm. game. And not only that, though, but you're going to be working together throughout a series of rounds to complete them and then upgrade your town, and then once again, go back and fight the monsters in the area. It's kind of a dungeon crawler slash tactical game. It is a little bit like, like a Kingdom Death Light is kind of what I've heard. Heard. We had to play a couple times, and we're going to play it live for you now. And I am Michael Wright, and this is... Grant McCarty. And we'll be doing uh, Fanny and Ilathena, and you'll be playing as... Berlin and Zaxos. All right, great. So we've gone ahead and set up our board here. Uh, if you want to learn how to set up the game, you can look up the rules. But we basically set these up randomly, as well as these, all these different locations, as well as randomly setting up our characters uh, over here and over here. And then, of course, the monsters. To start the game off, you're going to be rolling this six-sided die, and you'll be basically selecting one of the uh, sides randomly. And whatever that is, maybe it'll be your ambushed, or maybe it is your uh, ambushing yep. them. In this or... scenario, we actually tracked out a bunch of monsters eating at a watering hole, and we're going to ambush them. Okay, awesome. I like that idea. And so after uh, we complete the scenario, we're going to go talk to the next board, which is over here. And this is the town board. We've got certain buildings, which we've already selected two yeah, of. Yeah, we selected the, the priest... Uh uh, church building that will heal us, and we selected the the monster pin so we can trap additional monsters. That's a really good. That's a really yep. good one right there, in my opinion. Our character boards are different than the uh, PvP variant of the game. So if you watch the PvP variant, they are different. The cards for the monsters are different. We don't utilize the monsters. We are actually going to either kill them for basically different pieces of their hide, or we're going to capture them so that we, we can gain currency to improve our town. As well as, of course, we have one guy here right now. This character here is the our what is he called? Uh, yeah, as a worker, we're, we're allowed to pick one of two workers to join us on there. So we have a priest that allow our temple to heal for one more. And then, of course, we have our characters with our unlocked abilities. Uh, you start off with the basic ones that are on here, right? You got, like, what's this one here? The, uh, what does it say? Like a hand, and then the gate, and... Um... Yeah, the hand and the gate are the, the creature pen and the, the church that we have. Yeah. Then we have the crafter, and then we have the... Um... Uh, Seeker's Den, which allows us extra information for scouting and stuff like that. We're also only going to be using these red die for this game. We won't yep. be utilizing the blue die, but I think we're pretty much ready to go. We had, we had set up the creatures and everything over here on the side. We set up the scenario event already pre-set up, so we don't have to worry about that mm -hmm. for now. Like I said, most of the setup, you guys can just go ahead and look up on your own, but we'll go ahead and get started. So Grant, what's the first thing we're going to do? Oh, and of course, our, we have all the characters over here and their health uh, over here as well. Well, I'll tell you about the, the terrain we have right here. Right here, we have a pit. These three are full cover, and then this is partial cover. Okay. So anyone adjacent to this in any of these eight spaces have one defense. This blocks line of sight, and if you fall on that, you're going to lose your turn. Ooh. All right, so in this, this scenario, uh, Seekers are going to go first. So that's us. So we're going to pick one of us to activate and then go. Now, before we go, there's a couple things we want to consider, so how we might take our moves. Um, these are the things we can craft, so there's the different crafting components on there. So we're going to have to try and capture or kill these monsters. If we kill them, we're going to get the crafting materials. If we capture them, we can change them in for gold. So <clears throat> compared to what's on there, that has um, blood and the runic marks. We're missing the hearts, though, so we wouldn't be able to craft this next round. No, that, that's right. But in terms of what we're killing versus what we're capturing... We should probably capture a rank 3 and a rank 2 if we can. It'll give us the most gold. Yeah, you don't want to capture them all either because if you do that, then you're going yeah, you to... Only have, you only have one to two slots at the start of the game. You get more as you upgrade the creature So pens. you can't capture all the creatures and keep them all. You have to choose certain ones. So you might as well kill a couple to get some yeah, other... So, so I think we'll go for the Phoenix, and since we can use the Runic Mark for crafting that one, we'll try and uh, kill that one. Okay. So we'll try and capture the Wildwood Sentinel and the Phoenix, and we'll try and kill the Damon Wretch and the... Exalted Effigy. Okay. So with that in mind, uh, who wants to go first? Let's pick one of your characters. One of my characters. All right. So since we have this and we're going to kill the Exalted Effigy, I'll just have him run in. That'll be his movement, which is uh, three by that hand. And just like the competitive game, when you move, you can move forward, left, or right when you're facing a certain area. So he can move like this for one. He could move like this for one. But if he wants to turn in any direction, he can do that for one as well. Yep. So I'm just going to attack. Yep. It's going to be three base damage with three die. For one and a, or one extra with a special, and that's going to fatigue him. Okay. So, so it's going to be four damage with fatigue on the Exalted Effigy. Oh, where's our fatigue tokens? Uh, they oh. are these ones. 
right. that's going to reduce his speed by two, I think. Okay. Cool. So now one of the monsters is going to activate, yep. correct? So you have the cards right next to Over here? your board. Yep. All right, this one is Wildwood Sentinel. It activates, and it says that the enemy with the lowest uh, PDF minus the lowest HP. So it's going to first target the enemy in, in range, which is going to be four, with uh, the lowest physical defense. So he's probably going to go for one of these two. So figure out which one is going to be in four moves. I've got uh, two physical defense on this guy, and that one's got two as well. So he'd probably go like that, basically, I would imagine. And he has a physical attack, range one, uh, and two dice. So he's the level two one, so he's going to... Oh, he's range level two, so he's got he's three dice then. He's going to do three base damage and four die. Oh, four, three, oh, three base, four dice. Oh, I missed that. Okay. So it tells you on here. Exactly. Yep. Okay. So, ooh, and a special. Does he have a special on him? He does not. On no, activation, but... if, if, on activation, if possible, summon a Wildwood uh, Skirmisher with one HP, two defense, a range, and four speed. So he would have actually summoned one of these guys too, right? Yeah, it's going to be those ones. These ones right here? And he was standing right here. Yes. So. so maybe something like that? Yeah. Okay, so but he now so now he attacked. He did three, uh, plus his base damage of three, which is six, and he's hitting this character here, which is I believe my character. Yep. I have uh, two physical defense, so that's gonna do four damage to me. Yep. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. All right. Now these guys are gonna activate. I believe in this one they have. Uh, does it say on there? Okay, they have a uh, four yeah. speed, one HP, two defense. One attack die. All right. And how much base damage? They have zero base damage, I believe. Oh, they just they just do one attack damage. I I can't see that far, so you got to read the card. All right, all right, all right. It says, yeah, yeah, yeah. One HP, two defense, a range, four speed, zero base, physical base defense, one attack die, and on attack it bleeds. Three, right, one, two, and three, and mm -hmm. then it's gonna roll just one attack die, huh? Yep. So he just he hit. Um, that's one to this guy here with the little, uh... Yeah, so he just causes a bleed since he didn't actually deal damage. And then one, and, hmm, two, and... Uh, what's the closest way he can get, huh? Uh, this isn't blocking terrain, so he can go after those ones. One, two, and three? Is he close He's, enough? They're actually move four, I believe. Uh... Since they only have one HP. Three speed. Okay. Three speed. Is that close enough in range? Uh... No, his attack is just right in front of him. Okay. So that would be that for that. For that, for that. Yep. So, so that would be my turn, right? So we want to uh, capture... Which one do we want to capture? We want to capture... Well, it was the Phoenix, so we want to capture this one. I want to capture the Wildwood Sentinel. Okay. So let's go ahead and... What do you think I should do? Well, to capture, they have to be at half HP or less. Yep. So we're going to need to fight... We'd hold that Phoenix down a little bit, wouldn't we? Yeah. Well, luckily for her, she's got a range of two, and I think that can hit that one pretty easily. Yep. Um, and she gets four base damage and one attack. So I think that's what she's going to do. Four base, one attack die. That'll net her another one for five total damage on the Phoenix, and the Phoenix has got one, so it's four damage to the Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, she has sidestep on a defense. She can roll an attack die, and a, and on a special, ignore the attack. That's pretty useful. I should probably use that when you were attacked. Yeah, let's we'll see what that, that would have actually happened. Oh, it would have. So I would have ignored the attack. <laughs> well, we'll just pretend like that happened then. One, two, three, four. Or no, no, no. Which one? Which which one was it for health? No, was it me? Twenty-two. 20, oh, I had twenty-six. Oh, you started me. Okay, I guess you started me higher then, huh? What did I pick? A wrong character. I picked yours. That's why. It should have been me, huh? Mm -hmm. So, okay. He was on the right half. Okay. So, that's it. Um, and my other one is I can cripple. Whenever I assign two... I can assign two damage and apply a cripple token. So, because I hit him, I assign a cripple token to him, right? And that's actually this one that you're using. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Uh, sorry. May, pay, may spend three AP to be placed on a field opposite side of it so I can jump over. Okay, that's all I can do. Your turn. Oh, no. Oh, bad uh, guy's turn. This one is a demon wretch. Uh, enemy with the lowest... Uh, magical defense and the nearest. So he has one, and what's yours? This this one have two. Yep. Okay. Is it? Uh, let's see. It says careful advance magic range four. So 
all he's going to do is turn around. And now he's going to attack with four base damage and two die. Four base and two die. Let's see what happens. Uh, five total damage. Okay. Is that hitting my guy or yours? It's going to hit mine for oh, this four one. damage. Four damage? Okay. So it's this one with the high HP. No way of blocking that this time, huh? All right, you're up. We'll use our characters that have already activated too with the, with these things. We're not really supposed to, but that's okay. Was it this one? Uh, one? It was this one. Yep. Okay. Okay, so my guy has, when he attacks, he can reroll one or more attack die used, but I have to keep the result, and attacks uh, damage target and assign two damage to adjacent enemies. Okay. So, let's see, he's got three move. Three, and then I'll attack this guy. Okay. He's got three. He's got four magical attack with two die. Roll and roll on here. Yeah. All right. Total of five. It's total of five. Hitting this guy here. Yep. Which one's this one here? The demon wrench. The, the demon wrench. Yeah. Okay. And that's gonna be two zero zero physical two magical. Okay, so he's going to take three damage. Is this magical? It is. Ma well, it's magical, so I already factored in the defense. So oh. he's going to take three damage. Now where is he? Uh, this one, the one with the lowest HP. One, two, and three. Wow, okay. And then adjacent ones are going to take two assigned damage. Which is just instant damage. Yeah, they can't defend against it. Nice. That's a good one. Great. So that, one, that means your other use is done. And uh, now we're going to draw a new card. Let's see what happens. This is the Phoenix. Phoenix says, most adjacent allies, uh, most missing to most missing HP. Go ahead and read it, and I'll do that. He's I'll got activate flying it. advance, so he's going to go to where the most adjacent allies are. And this is the Phoenix here? Yep. Then uh, it says, if all allies have full HP, discard this card and draw again. If there are at least two uh, adjacent allies who are missing HP, assign... Okay, so he's actually going to fly in between his buddies... Like this? Uh, I actually think he might not move because he's missing HP and he's missing HP, right? Yeah, these are his allies, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, assign five damage to self and heal all adjacent allies for what level is he? Three? What is that? Yep, three. Okay, he's going to heal all allies for nine. All allies for nine and do yep. five damage to himself? As long as there's two adjacent allies that need yep. healing. So that will heal the demon wretch for nine. And the demon wretch is a total of 15, so yep. it just goes here. And then the brittle effigy, or the exalted effigy, will just go to 18. It's a good deal for us, at least. Yeah. Because he didn't actually heal him as much as he probably wanted to. All right, my last character here is Ilathena. Ilathena, and uh, she is rocking. Where's she rocking? Over here? Yep. Yeah. So what does she want to do? She's got the attacks made against adjacent tar targets, also have knockback. And uh, on special times to assign damage. And a cripple, of course. Do we want to go for this one again as well? So she's got three ranged. Uh, but you have to move weird to get out of line of sight. And I have one, a, two, I have a three. passive that whenever you attack somebody adjacent to me, I get to attack them as well. And that's this right here, right? Uh, no, it's oh, this one. this guy right here? So if you attack any of these three, I'll get adjacent. He's only at one HP, so and he's probably not in line of sight, so that's the only one. I can move up if I wanted to. And I could hit that guy. Um, maybe. I'm not sure if these guys are blocking the line of sight, because it's super crowded. Hmm... Well, I can I'll, I can at least guarantee to hit that yeah. one, though, right? All right, so we'll go for that one there, the Demon Wretch. And that's going to be uh, two base and five. Kind of a big window there, huh? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, plus my two base is six. Um, no special, so no assigning damage. And then I cripple as well, so I assign two more damage. So that's four, five, six. Cripple is actually activated. Oh, it is. Okay, so you have to actually act. Yep. I see. Yeah. Six damage, and... He's got no physical defense. So he just takes six then? And then he takes... Three more, and he gets fatigued as well. Which token is that one? This one right here, yep. right? Okay. And is that one the one you chose to attack? Uh, it, ha it attacks whoever you're attacking. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Not a bad, uh, not a bad turn there, then. All right, and then basically we can reset these. Yep. So these will come off. Any special? Did you do the the monster action? Because it, uh, it's going to take an action as well. 
since oh. uh, since we acted first, the monsters are going to take an action too. Okay, so we'll do this first. But uh, this is the Phoenix again, ally with the highest missing HP, and then it'll halt and it'll heal for eight and assign three damage to self. Okay, so yep, it's basically going to move to the ally who's missing the most HP, which is going to be the Demon Wretch here, right? And he's going to heal. He's going to heal for eight. It doesn't so, actually say how far it moves, so just just not move and uh, heals whoever's next to it. I would imagine. Okay, so he heals for eight, and then he's going to take three damage to himself. Fourteen, and he goes one, two, and three to six. Ouchie! Okay, and uh, that's that's what he does. Cool. Now we reset then. And once again we go. Yeah, so we're going to need four guys around him to, uh, to, to capture, capture him. him. All now, right. The Damon Rush is at full health still. Dang. We keep we keep knocking him down, but he keeps going. He's at 14 now. So we want to kill the Damon Rush, right? I, I believe that's probably what we want to do. All right. Why don't you attack him again? Okay, I'll attack him with Elfina again. Let's go ahead and roll up five dice along with his plus two. Come on, baby. Let's get some good ones here. Oh, we oh. got three and a special, or three damage with two, two yeah, specials. Two there. specials, which would mean you assign damage, ignoring his armor. Nice. So that's going to be a total of five, and just it just hits five damage, so it goes down to, yep. Not too bad. And that's going to be two more. Two more damage. Does it just go assigned? Yep. Nice. All right. Well, actually, he does no defense, right? Uh, no physical defense. Okay. All right, so now the monster's going to activate. What's going to happen? Uh, Exalted Effigy, enemy with the lowest uh, M magical defense to the lowest HP. And then it will move. It's got speed of minus one or minus two? Minus two. So it will move the two speed. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure this is the one with the mag lowest magical defense. Okay. Magic attack, and it's got it's a level two there, so it's gonna do a range. It's four, range of four, four base damage and uh, three dice. Four and three. Oh man, seven. Minus one. Seven magical. So I take six. Down to twenty. All right. You're up. It's getting real now. Sure is. He's only got three movement. Now, after you, after his turn is over, does this go away? Uh, yes. Okay. So I moved one, two, and then rotated. Yep. I'm going to attack the effigy again. Okay. That one's just two die. All He's right. going to re-roll this one. Nice. Special. And I got special. So he his did. special is he heals himself for two. But I think he's already at full. 18? Yep. Okay. Okay, so he hits him for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 magic damage. And he's got a defense of 2 magical defense. Demon Wretch, right? Yep. So he's got 2, so that's 4? Yep. Alright, we're lowering it. And the Phoenix was going to capture 2 assigned damage. Oh, wow. Nice. 1, 2. And which one? I already did the Phoenix. Okay. Alright. And let's see what the monsters do. Bam. Uh, Demon Wretch again. So he's got minus speed, or minus two. And he's going to go with the enemy at the lowest HP and the nearest. He's at 18 HP. And, yep, he's the lowest. And he's got minus two speed. He's at, he's at four, so he just go one and two. And uh, magic attack. Well, he's going to have to move because he has range three. Right? He'll, he'll move unless it says careful advance. Careful advance, yes. Okay, careful say. advance, he's going to rotate, and then he's going to attack as soon as he's in range. Awesome. So he's in range. So he's going to do Demon Rich's one. So he's going to have a range of three. He's got base damage of three and three dice. So here we go. Uh, three and two is five. Five Minus two magical. For magical defense, so I take three. All right. I'm up, I'm up now. Well, we can take the the turns in whatever whatever order we want. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, well, it's either this guy or that guy. Well, the demon wretch is near dead. We should just finish him off, right? Let's finish him off with this character here. Is that three? Yep. All right. Just drop that on there. Okay. And how many dice do you need? 
Uh, if he's at three, then I don't need any die. He takes that plus the roll. Oh, so he just instantly dies yeah, then. My guy takes one bleed damage. Ah! So we killed the demon wretch, and we score this resource for later, right? Yep, so just put that on our camp. Nice. Okay. All right, did you take the one damage from my guy bleeding? Uh, no. Which one is he? This one. Yeah. Okay, well, so what damage is he bleeding? When does bleeding go away? Uh, when you heal. Okay. All right, and um, now, now it is the monsters the... again. Here we go. Exalted Effigy. This one says enemy at the lowest HP to the lowest uh, magical defense. And then swift careful advance. Three. Okay, so swift means he can move diagonally. All right, okay. so I think he's going to move after this guy because he's got the lowest HP. He's at a 15. So he'd go one and then two. He's got range of three. Well, he's at careful advance so and range of three. So he probably just stopped. Yep. Right, okay. And then he's going to do... Um, what is he? He's at level two. So he's got four base damage and four rolls. Four and four. That is seven total magical damage. Oof. Oh, that was not Minus good. Two. Okay, so he's at ten. Okay. And uh, Maya character's up last here. What's what's we gonna do? Fanny. Alright, so we wanna kill what other one do we wanna we wanna capture this one for sure. And we want to capture the effigy. Capture these two. Oh these two. Okay. We can actually I can actually jump in to capture him. Uh, it's gonna take four people to get around to capture him, which I guess we can do. So you'd wanna move probably here or something. Yep. And I throw my net on him. Boom. Right? Uh, yeah. That's the wrong one. It's the green one. Oh, whoops. It looks They both look like nets. Yep. Okay. All right, so you take two damage. All right, where are you? Ouch. So every time you try and net something, you're going to take two damage? Yep. And every time that creature activates, uh, activates it, anyone I'll... who's capturing them will take two damage. Wow, okay. So that would be the end of my action then for that? Uh, yep, so then draw the card. Oh, please don't be that. Wildwood Sentinel. This bad, bad boy right here. Is that right? Yep. yep. Okay, enemy with the lowest physical defense and HP. So this is my the closest unit. She got two physical defense, and she's the highest HP. The range of one? Well, he's in range, so... Now we would we, we advance to one of these guys and steady because they have lowest... Um... No, no, he's going to go to whoever is in, in range of him, which okay. is, is uh, four. So that'll only be this guy. So he'll just turn over. And she's, he's attacking her in the back, too. Yep. Two so extra that, damage. So that's going to be range of one with... And he is a level two. So that's four and four. And that's eight. Any specials for him? That's a kindred on advance. Unactivate if possible. Summon another one of those guys. Yeah. Don't forget about that, huh? Okay. So that's eight damage. Eight physical damage total on her, which is going to bring her down for six is she the one? Oh, she's the one that has a sidestep, right? So roll for that. Okay, let's see if I can pull it off. I did! Nice! That is sweet. I like that sidestep. That side is awesome. Okay. Uh, but also, his little minions are going to activate as well, right? Yep. So she, he'll go for one to try and make her bleed. That makes her bleed. And then, I'm guessing he will as well, right? Uh, he can't actually hit her from there. Ooh. So, so maybe he'll, he'll just, just move closer. One and two. And three spaces for him. Uh, SP2 damage. One range. Four speed. Three. Yeah, three. So that's probably all I want to do. He probably won't want to go on that. Okay. And um, that's it, right? Uh, that's all four of us, yep. All right. That was the, the activation for the last one? Yeah, he just did that. So you take off, and uh, one of us gets to go. We gotta capture these this guy here. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. And then I'll capture it, taking two damage. Yep. All right. What's up next? The Exalted Effigy, this guy over here, uh, lowest magical defense and uh, to lowest HP. Swift and careful advance. Okay, well he's just going to attack. He's got a ranged attack, I imagine, right? Yes, magical ranged, and it is going to be a 5 and 3. 5 base, dang, 5 base and 3 dice. 8. Okay, he takes 7 damage. Nasty. Okay. And then now it's, um, well, we can decide here, I suppose. 
Fanny can't do anything right now because she's capturing, right? Uh, that's right. So one, two, and then three. Okay. And a hill capture as well. Oops. Okay. And then I will use Illithina after we do another monster. Demon Wretch. Uh, okay, so when they're gone, draw another card. Okay, because there's no Demon Wretch there. Uh, Demon Wretch again. Okay, that means you discard that card and the monsters lose their turn. Oh, nice. All right. So then I'll go ahead and use Illithina. One and two. And then I will turn this way. And I will capture him. Giving two more damage to her. Where is she at? Right here. One and two. And that's four captures. Yep. So now that one's going to be removed from the map, and we're going to have... We're going to take a three capture token. So this one actually goes away, right? Yep. And it signifies that we've captured it. Now he doesn't rebirth or anything either, which is no. nice, because normally they, he would rebirth with full health, but because we captured it, we can ignore that. Okay, and now the monsters get to take their turn, right? Yep. And I think the only person left with a turn here is going to be me, right? With yep. Fanny. All right, the monster is, is a demon wretch, so nothing. Draw one more card. And we draw one more card and see what happens. A Wildwood Sentinel. All right. And it says, uh, self halts. If at full HP, it activates the Skirmishers, then discard this card and draw again. Um, which it's not at full HP, I don't believe. Uh, it's at 25. And it is at 20. So, okay. So basically, just going to activate these guys here. He'll try and do a bleed on my guy again. He doesn't. Does it more, do more than one bleed activate? Uh, I think so. Ooh, nasty. And then this one will go. Can, they can't go between them, can they? Mm -mm. Mm. Only if they have Swift. Four. He's trying to get there, I guess. All right, we got to draw a new card. And it's a Wildwood Sentinel again. So he does something else. Highest uh, physical defense to lowest HP. Uh, advance three, four, or five. He's going to be advancing to four. So highest physical defense. And then what's the tiebreaker? Lowest HP. He's gonna go after this guy, unless you have one higher than three. I don't. So he just move one, two, like that? Yep. Okay. And then a sign. It doesn't be a sign, so it's a range of one. A sign four plus zero dice and a stun. So you just take four damage. And stunned. And you're stunned. Which means I uh, lose my next activation. Ouch, that's no good. So this one right here. Okay. That's too bad, because he's the healer. We'll get rid of these two tokens, since they're defeated. And now we've got uh, Fanny left, I think. So we... Right? She hasn't activated, has she? Uh, she... has not. Okay, so I went ahead and activated Fanny, moved her this way over here, and now she's just going to go ahead and hit the, uh, the wild... The Wildwood Sentinel, I suppose, right? Mm -hmm. Probably a good idea. So, uh, she's going to do her four and one again. Just one simple die here. Go ahead and bring it back onto the board and roll one. That's going to give us nothing this time. And, um, yeah, nothing special there, but she does do her four straight on him, and he's got two defense, so he's going to take two damage, basically. Not not a whole not a whole lot there. Which one is he? This one right here? Oh, uh, yeah. It's okay. It's first, it's first two damage. First of many. All right, and now uh, he's in, the monster's going to get to go. Uh, exalted Effigy. Uh, ally with the lowest HP to the highest missing HP. Halt. Heal X. He uh, range X heals for 3, 5, and 8. Uh, so that's a 2, so it heals for 5 damage. If all creatures are already at full HP, assign 3 damage to all Seekers. So, heal for 5 damage. The lowest HP. Which would be, I guess, her, right? It? They're both at two. Unless it just heals the sentinel. I think it would heal that guy. Okay. It only heals him to two, because it's as high as he can go. Okay. And these get removed. Alright, um, what do you think we should do? You wanna smoke this effigy? Or no, we gotta we gotta we gotta we need to capture him, it costs us three since it's level two, right? Yeah, but we would rather capture that guy as opposed to that guy. Oh, so we want to kill this one then? Right. Yep. Let's go ahead and kill this guy then. This one's really strong. Alright, well, who do you want to do that? 
Um, I'll go ahead and use this one so that he'll be in line of sight, right? Mm -hmm. Now I can't move backwards, right? But I can go one, and then I can turn around like this, right? Well, actually, you're facing the effigy, and you can move left and right. You like that? Yeah, so you're facing the effigy, and you can move left and right, so... Okay. I'll move like that, then, I suppose. And she's got her two and five. Let's see if we are can you get gonna, that. Are you going to knock off one of the small uh, skirmishers who only have one HP, or are you going to... I'm hitting that one. Go for the effigy. That's four with two specials, which means it's an assigned damage. So that's going to be six total damage, and we're assigning it. So he just takes six straight up, putting him down to ten. Pretty good. All right, now one of them activate. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. The Phoenix, all allies, halt. If the rebirth token, Phoenix so is Phoenix is gone. Draw, draw a new one. The new one is Wildwood Sentinel. All right, uh, and that's this one. So it says enemy with the lowest uh, physical defense. Okay, what's the tiebreaker? Uh, HP the near uh, lowest physical defense, HP nearest. That's what it says. Okay, so it's gonna be enemy with the lowest physical defense or the nearest. So that one's the nearest. All right, uh -oh. that's no good. Four with three die, and, and he also right. activates if possible. He summons another one of his dudes. Uh, he already has two on the field. He's got a whiff, or he's going to KO my guy. How many, what's his rolls? He's got uh, three die. He hits three. So he KOs your guy? Yep. That's no good. Okay. And um, then what do we got here? Uh, that's it. He's, he's done, right? So it's our turn now. So I already used Illith. So now I've got Fanny left, and you've got... Zaxo? Is that Zaxo? Which yeah. is fine, because he lost his turn anyway. So, would have just been a whiff turn anyhow. Uh, go ahead and use Zaxo if you want. Does this count as coverage here, this this bark? Can I throw my spear over? No, this blocks line of sight. Okay, it completely blocks it, alright. Yeah. Alright, I'll just go for it. Three die. One, two, three. So we got uh, five physical damage on the effigy. And he's got a defense of zero, so he goes from ten to five. All right. Um, let's go see what happens here. We have a phoenix, which is nothing. Phoenix is gone, luckily. And then exalted effigy. Ally with the lowest HP slash highest missing HP. Halt. Heal for four. If all allies are already full, then... So heal for four. We'll be healing this guy. He's already at full. So all allies are, so in, in, in so the, what, you gonna take yep. it from me, huh? Yep. Now we're gonna take all damage, right? Yes, I've already read this anyways. Remove all, oh, remove all debuffs from all allies. Okay, well there's nobody with debuffs, so that just ignores. All right, now uh, I'm gonna use Fanny, so. Did you assign damage to all of our heroes? No, no, it's not assigned damage to all heroes, is it? If oh, removal? it's assigned three and, re and remove all. Okay, so assigned three damage, yeah, one, two, and three. Did you do it to this guy or no? Uh, one more. One more? Yep. Okay. All right, what should I do with her? Should I just knock him down some damage? Yep. All right, four with one. That's going to be a special. That's nice. Uh, it doesn't help, though. So it's just five. Five physical on him. So he takes three damage. He does not want to take damage. Okay, and then everybody's been utilized. So let's go ahead and uh, do our last card, right? Mm hmm Phoenix, nothing. Now, when the deck is empty, we have to shuffle. reshuffle it, right? So let's go ahead and reshuffle it, including with all the monsters that are already currently dead or captured. Which is nice, but it's going to buy us some time, hopefully, because we've at least gotten rid of two of them. Once this effigy goes, we can slow the monsters' abilities down a little bit, right? Okay. Uh, Wildwood Sentinel, that does activate. And it says... Uh, highest physical defense to lowest and lo uh, to lowest HP. Phys so Fanny's got two. What's his move? Four. Yeah, advance four. So that would be her. Highest physical defense. Uh, yeah. Well, we've got two physical defense, and then he's got like six HP. One, two. Th oh, he could make it to there. Yep. <clears throat> okay, attack range one. Assign four damage. So he just takes four. All right, we clear these off. All right, Don't so forget, these guys activate. Oh, yeah, these that. guys are supposed to be activating, too. Don't forget about that. <laughs> so let's see if he bleeds 
No bleed there. One bleed on my guy. And Fanny actually took two more because of her bleed. Uh, one more. So now she's got a bleed. And then let's see if Fanny takes another bleed. Nope. Okay. And we're not sure if you take more than one bleed. Nah, we're just guessing that's probably how it works. But okay. Maybe you're bleeding more. I don't know. Um, all right. So that was that was up for them, right? We haven't yep. activated our guys. Which one do you want to activate? Um, I guess I can back attack him, right? Uh, you Maybe. gotta move one more space to be behind him for, for back attack. Okay, so he has to be right behind him then. Yep. Okay. Um, that's four and one again. So if we can do... Bam, that's five. Back attack. Plus two. So seven minus two is five damage. One, two, three, four, and five. Not too bad. Not too bad indeed. Okay. And she attacked. She takes two damage because she was bleeding. And uh, yeah, monsters. Wildwood Sentinel. Oh, man. He's activated over and over again. Lowest physical defense. Um, HP nearest. So he does a physical attack of four and four. Okay. So the the HP is a typo right there. So it's lowest physical defense and nearest. Oh, okay. Since there's two. Yep. It's going to act in the best interest of our party. Yep. So it's going to turn around and hit you instead. Okay. Four and four. That's going to be four, five, six, seven. And hitting her. Four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, doesn't she have the roll to dodge? She does. Let's see if I can dodge it. Stop, not take the five damage. Seems like a thing. Nope. <laughs> it was working all game. Okay. Now back to us again. Now can I I can still shoot him? Uh yeah. Alright. Alright, alright. Three and five. Let's get some assigned damage. Nope. But uh two and five. So that is gonna be six total. He's got five HP. Any defense? No defense. So he he dies. Uh, undying, on activation, heal self for three. Okay. We gotta make sure we, we utilize these, the plus signs. Sometimes we forget a little bit. Okay, he just goes over here. Can we get his both of his currencies? Yep. Okay. All right, and uh, monsters are up again. Now it's just the Wildwood Sentinel, so there's Demon Wretch, another Demon Wretch, nope. Okay, so I'm gonna move uh, one, two, Three, and I'm going to use his ability to heal for three since he's really low. Yep. Phoenix. Phoenix. I'm up. Aleph is going to come over and let's just see here. That's a one, two. Now, is this at half? It's at three. less than half health, so we can try and capture it. It's only level two, right? Yes. Good, because we don't have enough if it was uh, level three. We would be able, we would lose, basically. We, no, no, we, we have, have to, to kill, kill it. it. We have to yeah. kill it then. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and try and capture him. There's one. Take two damage. One, two. Okay. And we've all acted, so it's just a monster again. Exalted Effigy. Demon Wretch. Okay, he's come out. I will... Take my guy and I'll capture. That's all right. And I'll take two damage. And uh, you're up. If you want, well, no, sorry, monsters. Let's see if it pops up. He might not even activate again. Two phoenixes. Nice. I'll capture. Take two damage. All right. Now let's just capture the monster. Oops. And he goes over here. So that would be the end then of this phase, right? I We've successfully so. either killed or captured the monsters, and we're going to move on to the board phase over here. And we have two monsters captured. We have a three and a two monster, which is pretty good. We can put them somewhere. So we can always have one in our barracks, and then because we have the creature pen, we can put one in there because we have a level one creature pen. Okay. And then our actions are? We, we All of our characters have five actions each to spend. Yep. Um, we can heal in here, but only two members can go in here, and it's going to heal for uh, three HP per activation. And then um, 
when we arrive back in the barracks, the barracks is always going to heal all of us for five. So you're going to come back, you're going to make one of your guys come back to life, right? Let's take all these he's off. Gonna, yeah, he's going to heal for five, which will be from zero to five. Yep. He's going to heal from three to eight. And then ten to fifteen. And then fifteen to twenty, right? Yep. Okay, so we have let's have two guys go into the healing area, right? Probably the lowest ones, right? Yeah, that's... So they're each going to spend an action. Uh, they're probably, I'd imagine, spend all five? Yep. Or pretty close. He's going to spend all five, definitely. That's going to be healing for 15. Because we get an extra heal for the Acolyte. Oh, really? Yeah, the Acolyte allows uh, healing. We also lose our debuffs, too, right? Yep. So that gives us 15 and 8. That's 23. And you, what are you going to do? Um, okay, so one action. Yep. Two, three. Yep. And then four. We'll put them at 17, which is one health. It's short. Not too bad. Okay. And uh, let's upgrade one of our buildings, right? Um, sure. Well, we, we're going to need to go to town and sell these monsters first. That's true. Yep. So we're going to need uh, someone to spend, or two people to spend two actions to go to town. Okay, well, she has exhausted her her currency. So I will go ahead and spend two. Okay. Uh, she leaves me with three on this guy. Well, what was your other guy doing? Healed. Only two people can heal. Yeah, you're, these two. Uh, it was these two, the both of the ones I have. He's at 15 after he healed. Which one did I heal? Oh, I, I healed this one on accident then? No, no, you healed mine for me for five actions. Oh, and your guy then. Okay, yeah, so I, I, I... So you still have your actions. Oh, okay, so I have my actions fully then. Okay, I thought I was healing my guy, sorry. All right, um, two and two then, I suppose. Okay, so what you're going to do Jesus is you're going to sell these monsters. Yep. The, these ones are worth two co two gold coins. So now we'll actually use the gold coins for then the currency. this one's going to be worth three, so we're going to have five gold coins. Okay. Um, do you, Now, while you're there... Get two of these cards. Yep. These are the workers that you can hire if you want. Okay. They're going to cost one gold unless they say otherwise. Some of them will cost two. And can we afford to have more than one? We can, We right? only have one slot available right now, but if we're upgrading, it's going to cost two. If we're buying any buildings, it's going to cost two, so we can do an upgrade. We'll just do one. We'll get the monster hunter. Okay. Which means we have another a way to craft something, and it says seekers may begin capturing creatures at half uh, their health plus five. Okay. So that's pretty useful. So that'll cost us our one gold. And then we can upgrade two of them. Let's go ahead and upgrade our monster capturing area and our healing area. Or do you want to buy uh, the seekers den instead? Mm, we could do that. You think that'd be a better idea? It'll give us more flexibility. Okay. So we'll do that, and then we'll spend two on upgrading the healing area or this one. Um, I was upgrading the, the monster pen, I think. Okay. Which leaves with the one more gold left. And okay. those also cost me, what, an action each? No, no, actually, it's two gold to buy, two gold to upgrade, and then one gold for the thing, so we spent all of our gold. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so now we're going to check our new abilities, see if we've unlocked anything. Because um, we unlocked rank two of the pens, and rank one of the... Um, of the what? Seeker's Den. And the secret of the den is which one looks look like? Yeah, like a little cow. cow skull. Okay, that unlocks my daughter of the wild, and that also unlocks uh, my pierce. Uh, now attacks damage the target and an adjacent enemy on the field behind it in relation to Ilithina. And then the daughter of the wild says it increases uh, the default range to three and add one die to the side step skill. Let's That's see useful. what else Seeker's Den does. Scouting results in plus one scout cards. And at level two, creatures always drop two resources. Yeah, all of these help us throughout the game, basically, throughout all ten of the different uh, scenarios we take place in. And so that's pretty much it. After after that, right, you're going to clear all your board, make sure you have your unlocks put down, and then you're going to take all your characters off, right? Yep. Along with taking off uh, these pieces here. And you set them aside. And then you're going to take the die here, and you're going to roll it, and you're going to see what new scenario is activated. If it's a six, it's a wild. So we get to choose which scenario we want to do. And we're just going to continue, and we're going to go ahead and fight new monsters again. Usually the monsters are going to be more difficult as the game progresses. And uh, after we finish that, if, whether we uh, lose the game, which is basically uh, we 
kill all of our guys die. Well, actually, there's one more action at this thing, and it's kind of important. So we can scout, and we can look at the next card. That's to, true. Now, there's a, we actually have the option to not scout, which is interesting. We can do this entire phase again. However, we get a derelict marker, and if we do not go out and encounter monsters, the monsters are going to attack us. But it's not just going to be any monsters. We're going to draw the tier 3 cards instead of the tier 1 cards. So we're going to be in an insanely powerful fight. So we can choose not to come back instantly, but it's going to be at a, at a cost, basically. right? And you know, you might not want to. Maybe everyone's at 1 HP, and we can only heal so much because only two people can fit in the, the healer thing. And these locations here, these are the ones that yep. are going to be... So those would be the two. We would draw from two tier 1 cards for the second round, and we'd choose the next one. On round three, we'd shuffle the tier two cards into the tier one deck, so we'd have a, a higher likelihood of... Of getting the tier twos. Then around round five, we're going to take all, all of the, the tier remaining ones tier out. ones out. And then as we progress on, we're going to add the threes in and take the twos out. So the, the very final match is going to guaranteed to be a thir uh, three. Ouch. And that's it. There's, there's ten rounds total, right? And as you progress through the game, you're going to be... Uh, going to be getting stronger and stronger monsters to fight and deal with. I mean, there's scenarios as well that are being included, but that, I don't think they're here with us currently with no, the prototype. No, we don't have the scenarios. The scenarios are for shorter uh, shorter gameplay lengths. Which is cool, because this is obviously just, we're just showing you one round along with the uh, the building phase, and then you'd go back yes, into here. This actually come with a campaign saver uh, thing, so you mark down all of your, your hero stats and your building stats. So if you get there, if you don't have to go through all 10, right? That takes a while. It's probably already been 45 yeah. minute video as it is, but you can go ahead and just mark down all your things, save it up, and then you can come back and play once again but anyway thanks for watching the game wild descent with us the cooperative variant of the game as you saw we did okay we lost one character but we had three survive and we managed to capture the ones we wanted to capture yep. and kill the ones we wanted to capture if you're interested take a look at wild descent on kickstarter right now it's doing very very well and for good reason it's a lot of fun yep. i think you guys are going to enjoy this game quite a bit um uh, i'm sure the rules are going to be changing slightly as the game progresses and there's gonna be added scenarios and all of these added, there's a ton of stretch goals already i think it's like a hundred thousand as of right yeah, now. It's, it's over 150 actually. Well, there you go then. So it's doing excellent and for good reason. It's beautiful. It looks great. Um, there'll be some reviews coming out from us as to what I think about the game. Yeah, maybe it's flaws and it's perks and whether or not you guys should pick it up. But uh, if you guys enjoyed these playthroughs uh, and you didn't see this one, you, you, you did see this one, you want to see the uh, the combat, combative one, the non the competitive one, mm -hmm. then you Riders. go ahead then you, yeah, it'll be in this box here maybe. I don't know. Uh, then go ahead and check it out. Alright guys, well thanks for watching as always and again we look forward to See you guys next time. Coming to Kickstarter, October 2018.